How's it going guys? In this video I will be showing you how to install Bleem Sync version 1.2.0 on your PlayStation Classic. So this is the USB I'm going to be using. You must have a USB for this. This is just a basic, I don't know, 6 gigabyte USB. It's not really that good, but it's perfect um, to use something like this. If you have a 64 gigabyte USB, that is really good, so I would recommend having something like that. But all you want to do is get your USB, go and plug this into your computer, and I will show you guys what to do from there. Alright guys, so once you're on your computer, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that your USB is plugged in. Now as you can see, here is mine. As I said, it's a pretty small USB, only about 6 gigabyte, well 5.83. But what we want to do is we actually want to format our USB. So um, formatting will delete anything on there. So if you have some files that you want, I would recommend backing these up. But what we're going to do, we're going to right click it, we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on format. On here, what we want to do is choose capacity. For the file system, we can just leave this as FAT32. For allocation size, you want to put this as default allocation size. For the volume label, what you want to type in is Sony. So just all capitals, just Sony, just like this. Make sure quick format is ticked. Click on start, click on OK, and then there you go. Once this is finished, what you can actually do is just click on close on the message which will appear. You can just click on OK, click on close, and then there you go. We've got our Sony USB and it's formatted to the correct format. So now what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description. So the link in the description of this video will bring you guys to the official Bleem Sync webpage. And what you want to do is scroll down and we're looking for two files. So you see this section right here that says where to download. We need to download these two. So we've got Bleem Sync 1.2.0 and we've got the Bleem Sync 1.2.0 custom kernel. Click on both of these and it's going to start downloading them. I've already got them so I'm just going to cancel this. But once you've got these, what you want to do is go to your downloads folder and you can find the files in there. But before that, I just want to show you guys some of the kind of like features and stuff. I'll leave the link to this in the description as well. This is the Wololo article about the Bleem Sync 1.2.0 release with RetroArch 1.7.8. This has network support, folders and more. So it has all of the features in here. Some very cool features like network support, folders. This update comes with lots of features such as AI services that enables text to speech. It's pretty cool. There's loads and loads of stuff they've added. So if you have the previous version it's definitely worth reading this and updating but let's go to our downloads folder and let's find our two files the first thing we want to do is find the bleem sync 1.2.0 file and just right click it and select extract here so once this file has been extracted, we can actually delete it. We don't need this zip file anymore. And we can select both of these folders right here and we can just drag and drop them on the root of our Sony USB. So we are just going to wait for this to copy across. It shouldn't really take that long. But once it is done, we're going to go back onto our PlayStation Classic and we can get this set up. Okay guys, so once we're back, the first thing you want to do is plug in your USB, but make sure your PlayStation Classic is not turned on. Make sure this cable right here in the back, the power cable, make sure this is unplugged, and we're just going to go and plug in our USB to start off with. Okay, so once our USB is plugged in, we can now go and plug in the power cable. And now we're just going to wait um, for this light to turn on. And now you can just go ahead and power it on and the light should go green, now you can look at your TV. So now it's just going to set it up, it's going to say creating a file system backup, this will take a couple of minutes. So all we have to do on this part is simply just wait, and um, I will be back once this part has finished. The next section is creating the kernel backup, again we just have to wait for this part. And then you will actually get a screen saying the setup is complete, wait 5 seconds and it will restart. I accidentally just missed this screen. So your TV screen should now be black and you should just have the orange LED right here. What you want to do is don't touch it, don't press the power button, just go ahead and take out your USB and we, we just want to plug this back into my computer. Okay guys, so once we plug our USB back in, it's just going to pop up just like this on the Sony USB. We want to go inside of Bleem Sync, we want to go inside of Backup, and in here you can find all of the backup files. Now I would recommend making a backup of this folder. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click it, we're going to go down to Copy, and we're going to paste this somewhere on our computer so we don't lose it. I'm just going to paste it into my Downloads folder, and that will just be a safe place for me to keep it. Make sure you paste it somewhere um, where you know you it's safe and you won't accidentally delete it. 
Next, we have to do the lboot.ebp update. So what you've got to do, find this file, go onto your Sony USB, and we are going to put this into the update folder inside of Bleem Sync. If you just click on the drop down arrow of Bleem Sync, you can find out there's an update folder. So we're just going to drag and drop the kernel in there. We've just got to wait for this to copy across. And now we're done on our computer. So let's go back onto our PlayStation Classic and let's install this update. Alright guys, so we are back again. Now don't do anything just yet. If it's powered on just like this, you just want to go ahead and remove the power cable. Obviously you need to do this every time just so you don't corrupt your USB or just encounter any errors. And now we can go ahead and plug in our USB. And once our USB is plugged in, we are able to put the power cable back in. And now once everything is plugged in, we should get the orange LED. It should actually come on in a second. And now we can just go ahead and power this on. Okay, so what it should do now, it should actually update the kernel. As you can see, updating kernel in 5 seconds, do not turn off your console. And now you can just wait for the screen to go black. This should complete very quickly. And now if we look at our PlayStation Classic, we're going to have the orange LED again. All we want to do from this point is go and power it on. If you want to add anything like an OTG adapter, some extra USB adapters, go ahead and add that now. But I haven't got any of those to hand, so I'm just going to go and power mine on. And here you go guys, we're now on the boot menu, so we get a choice, RetroArch or Bleem Sync. Uh, for this video, I'm just concentrating on Bleem Sync, so we're just going to go ahead and press X to boot this up. And now we're at the Bleem Sync menu. Now this is the latest version at the time of recording this video. This is version 1.2.0. So as you can see, we've got Game Manager, we've got the Folder menu, this is all new stuff. We've got the boot menu, that's always been there. And we've also got RetroArch over here, and we've got all of our pre-installed games. So you can go on these you can go in the game manager right, and stuff like that you can go in the folder menu it's pretty cool all you do is simply just press X on it so as you can see I've got no games installed so far we can press a circle to go back and X on yes to quit and now what we can do is we can check out the folder manager as well so the folder menu we can press X to start this up as well as you can see, I've got no folders either, so I haven't really made anything yet. Maybe I will make another video on how to install games. I'm pretty sure I've already got that video um, on my channel anyway. And yeah, you can play the normal games you've got perfectly fine. And that is pretty much it. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.